Good afternoon, my beautiful friends. So, I went to the store to get hamburger buns because we're gonna have a hamburger tonight for supper. When I went to put them away in my bread box, I found buns and I was like, oh no. So I thought, well, we've been in it for a little while, so let's make some bread pudding. Yes, bread pudding. I love bread, so it stands to reason I love bread pudding. When I was growing up, my dad would take us to this smorgasbord, this buffet, and I got this in the 80s. I got the same thing every time. They're roasted fried chicken, mashed potatoes, stuffing, green beans, and for dessert, bread pudding with ice cream. They had one of them serve yourself ice cream. Oh, I thought it was so cool, you know, going up there and you had to get it just right so it didn't overflow and ice cream didn't go everywhere. So anyway, I love bread pudding. Bread pudding's not hard. It's not uh, a recipe that takes a lot of time. Simple, easy, and most of all, delicious. So here we go. Any bread you got stale, if you don't have any stale bread, just leave it out on the counter overnight. This is those hamburger buns. I've got about four cups. I've got my eight by eight baking dish. So I'm gonna see, oh, and I hit the bottom with a little bit of this uh, Baker's Joy. So one stick. I don't know if I'm gonna use all four cups, so I don't wanna overflow the pan. What I don't use, the goats will enjoy. Or the chickens, oh. Looks like the goats are out of luck today. All right, so about four cups. I think it was about four hamburger buns I had in there. So I'm gonna just push that off to the side for a minute. Well, actually first, I've got a couple tablespoons of melted butter that I'm gonna pour over the bread. Cause you know butter is good with everything. All right, there we go. Now listen, you could totally make this low carb. There's low carb, fantastic low carb breads out there that you can get, uh, set those out and dry them. And uh, eggs, so we've got four eggs. So that's definitely low carb. Okay. I haven't learned that one-handed egg trick. I never really practiced probably not coordinated enough. Didn't make a little bit of a mess here. I like to clean as I go. Okay, so we're just gonna whisk these four eggs. Okay, to that, I've got two cups. Now I had some half and half in the fridge I needed to use up, so it's going to be perfect. Two cups, two cups of milk. If you want to do it low carb, two cups of heavy cream. That's going to be delicious. So I'm just going to incorporate that into here. So I'm using, like I said, two cups of the half and half. And I, whew, I need to get my stuff together. I'm, I'm making a mess. Probably should have Use the bigger bowl. But you know me, I don't like to dirty up a bunch of dishes. I try to consolidate. Okay. I try to do this without splattering everything everywhere. Making a mess. Looks like I got an egg in there that wants to still hang out. Get it all chopped up there. Okay, so now we're gonna add three quarter cups of sugar if you're doing low carb, you could do monk fruit, stevia, trivia, whatever sweetener you like. I like to use monk fruit. I'm out of monk fruit. So I usually order mine on Amazon because I usually buy the bigger bags of it because I use it in my coffee. Now you can get it at Walmart, the smaller bags. If you've never tried it, give it a try. Zero calories, zero carbohydrates. And it tastes like white sugar. Okay, so to that, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. I mean, a teaspoon of cinnamon. I haven't got to the vanilla yet. Teaspoon of cinnamon. There we go. Okay. Stir that. I think I need to get me a spoon because I am whisking this 
all over the house. Get a spoon here. Okay. Got a little bit more control with the spoon. Okay. This smells so good. Get that cinnamon all incorporated in there. Next is vanilla. Now, the original recipe calls for a teaspoon, but let me tell you, I love me some vanilla. So I'm gonna put me a whole tablespoon in. I know, I'm a rebel. Go. I have my oven preheated to 350, by the way. This is gonna make the house smell amazing. Okay, go. I did buy a little ice cream to go with this. I don't, we don't normally eat ice cream. Sometimes when we'll have ice cream, we're like, hey, why don't we eat ice cream more? But we just don't. But I did pick up a little bit of ice cream to have. So that'll be delicious. It'll take me back to my youth. Take me back to the 80s when I had the big hoop earrings. Okay. I don't think I can wear the big hoop earrings now. I think it probably weigh my face down. Okay, so there we go. Got this chopped up bread with that little bit of butter. Now this is totally option. I love optional. I totally love raisins in my in my um, bread pudding. If you do not want it, don't don't add it. It's that simple. Dried cranberries would be good. I don't know how I'm not measuring. I'm just using my heart, my little raisin heart. And there we go. Next up, we're going to pour this batter right over the bread. Good. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to take it and I'm going to mash that bread down into that egg and milk mixture. So all those breads get in the hot tub. Everybody's gonna join in the pool party. Get on in there and take your soak. Relax. Get a little R and R. Okay. There we go. Speaking of baths, this is totally off subject. But every evening when I come home from work, I take a hot bath. Um, because if I don't, I can't walk the next day. I'm old, I'm sore, I'm tired. So I do every night um, soak in Epsom salts. And then I read an article about the importance of soaking in baking soda. Now I've heard that for like inflammation and things. So I bought a whole case of baking soda. So I'm gonna be in there brightening like a big old Christmas turkey every night. So I'm very low maintenance, but I do like to soak in the tub occasionally. And if I can detoxify and, and um, help these old joints, Brock's joints, he has gout arthritis. So if it works, I'd soak in some, I'll soak in some Epsom salts and some baking soda any day. Big old Krista brine. Anyway, this goes in the oven. I'm gonna let it set for just about two or three minutes so all that bread absorbs that milk before I throw it in the oven. And I'm gonna throw it in the oven. Probably 35 to 40 minutes, we'll just have to see. Everybody's oven's different. You just wanna make sure it's set in the middle. I'll come back and let you know how long it took and then we'll take a little taste test. All right, friends, be right back. So here we are, we're back, it's out of the oven. Look at that, nice and delicious. I've got a little bit of icing here. It's just powdered sugar, milk, and a little bit of vanilla. I'm gonna just sprinkle that right on top. Such an easy, quick, delicious dessert. You have everything in your house, in your pantry, to make this. Doesn't it look fancy? And you know I'm gonna try it because you know I love a bread pudding. I'm just gonna take a bite because we're having this for dinner tonight, after dinner. Sorry, I got a bigger bite than I meant to. 
absolutely delicious. You've got that raisins in there, that soft, creamy bread from the eggs, and that half and half. Delicious. It's going to be so good with that ice cream. And it's going to take me right back to the 80s, to my days at the Smogos Bowl. All right, guys. Have a good afternoon. And thank you for visiting me in my little kitchen today. Bye.